awesome. Okay, now we're good, man. Hey, now we got the audio working again. I'm gonna reiterate, repeat myself, man. How's it going, both of you guys? I say both of you guys. How's it going to the camera? How's it going to the microphone? How's it going to any and everybody that's witnessing this tuning in? Alright, y'all already know the vibe, y'all definitely know the ways. It is Zachariah White, aka at it like it's nothing with this drip in the store. I am so on. I am back. We are here. First off, I'm gonna say happy Sunday to everybody. As usual, I hope that you week will one your Sunday and the summer week is better than your last Sunday and your last week. <laughs> and I hope that that was good also. But we do have our 34th like episode of the Royal High Tech. Really, really make me wonder. All right. And I got a little bit. This, this episode may not be too long. All right. This is like intentional because I was not necessarily trying to make up, you know, too long. Can you I know that. No the, 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 the one, I, y'all, I love to sleep in. I, especially on Sunday, yeah. I love to sleep in. Mix it with the push man, mix it with the spray. I'ma have to go ahead and get her my right. On a fucking road, you know you know at your foot in the mark, I'm up in the count right. But you don't need the left, it's a whole bunch of stuff right. She don't drink vodka tonight, she just might let's be arguing for the time for again the podcast on this particular Sunday. So we know what we can get right to it. But before I even do that, I would just like to say this, right? Hopefully the camera is catching the audio and hopefully it's not too loud on the desktop. But yo, big shout out to Lil Mark Baby and I don't know, the second name, the second name. Again, I do not necessarily know how to pronounce it, but it is I M G. Well, I, I guess it's just I'm Gas. All right. So Lil Mark Baby and I'm Gas both. All right. Listen, one. I, right now I'm on Spotify and I'm looking at a whole number, a whole bunch of their songs. But yo, this one right here that's playing is called You The One Tonight and it's super fire. It's my favorite one. All right. So I got to give much love, much shout out to them. Not only that, they from the 239. So y'all already know I love, I listen, I love everything Florida, especially Southwest Florida, especially Fort Myers. All right. I got nothing but love, respect, and, and, and support for anything 239 related. All right. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm also going to play another joint or whatever because I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I need to discuss oh yeah of course the actual like structure of what's going on um as for this particular occasion i have two like two warm topic questions warm topic things you know that that i would like for us to discuss and then i did have i had one one hot topic uh but actually i came across a second one i didn't even put this down in the notes but I just, you know, I just, I have it off the top of my head because I've asked a number of people uh, about basically what's their take on the second piece, you know, what's the take on, 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 you know, the, the, the question or whatever it is at hand. All right, but let's go ahead and get right to it. I just gotta say again, thank y'all so much, man. And y'all already know the protocols, y'all know the procedures, man. Y'all ride this wave with me one time for the one time, baby. Let's get it, man. Let's go. All right, I'm going to put this, put this on pause. Put this on pills. I said pills. <laughs> I don't know what pills is, but I'm gonna put it on pause. Hold up. Everything is good. Every ooh, hold up. OBS, don't you be messing up on me now. All right. So, to kick it off for the warm questions, all right, the first thing that I have for you guys, all right, I say, I always keep calling it thing, the, the first question that I have for you guys, and I also, when it comes to giving shout outs, there's a number of people I got a shout out, there's a number of people who basically make this possible, all right, but Bucket List Journey, that whoever it is that's in charge of that website all the people who collaborate to get that whole thing going big shout outs to them because i take a lot of my questions uh from their website all right and i and, and here's the funny thing too sometimes like <laughs> i forget which questions i've done already answered all right so i might mess around and, and answer the same question a number of different times over but i don't know or or maybe you know i i'll take the same question and and I'll answer I there there'll be something different about it because you know I don't know the way that I I answer it in the past and the way that I answer it in the present two different answers but enough with all the all that other sort of shit all right the first question that I have for you guys is 
What is the most defining moment of your life so far? Again, I'm going to reiterate it. I'm going to repeat it one more time. What is the most defining moment of your life so far? All right. And this is this is going to be one of those those times where I, I, you know, I say, OK, I feel like this is this is a question that I've already answered before or something I've answered similar. Uh, they, some, at some point in time within the past but the answer is going to be somewhat different because you know a whole bunch of stuff has happened between the last time that, that I've answered it and between you know now uh, but as far as what is the most defining moment of my life there's been a number of them but I am going to talk about two recent ones that happened just two weeks ago all right, I'm, I'm going to start off with, well, first off, overall, right? Your boy is now, how do I say this? How do I say this? Right? One, I need to get more accustomed to saying King Big Daddy Drip. Because, oh, wow. That's crazy. You know what? It's crazy. Hold that thought uh, on the question. All right, because, y'all, I definitely, I, this is the 34th episode of the Royal High Table. That is it's crazy because that's how long I've, I've, like, it's been since I've actually done the episode. And, like, I guess how we typically do it. All right, of course, when y'all pull up, when I, when y'all pull up and I pull up to this table, we chop it up. You know, we eat, you know, we, we, we cut bread. We do whatever, man. We, we key, 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 we ha, ha, ha man listen bro everybody is a king queen god goddess emperor empress boss or whatever they they, they got some control all right or, or basically they have their own lane all right or lanes multiple right you know now granted i i, I you know if some people know what their lane is some people you know are still trying to figure it out you know that's what life's all about to be honest with you all right but nonetheless over here, we acknowledge that everybody does have their own lane, all right? And you know what? We treat everybody with a good deal of respect, love, consideration, regard, reverence, all that other sort of jazz. So whenever y'all pull up to this table, all right? And again, we do mingle, we do eat, we do cut bread, we do we do whatever, all right? Y'all make sure that y'all bring your crowns and you put it on, you put it on, you represent yourself, you represent whatever it is, your kingdoms, your empires, your creations, whatever it is that you got going on for yourself, all right? And you put it on loud and proud for everybody in this world, all right, to be aware of and to take note of. But with that being said, allow me to go ahead and lead the way because it has been long overdue. All right. Long overdue indeed. <sighs> okay. Now, and you know what? Now, this this is this is likely to fall right off my head. But now we are good to go ahead and get started. And now we can segue back into the question that I had asked you guys previously. Again, the question at hand is what is the most defining moment of your life so far? All right. Now, throughout the entirety of of these episodes of the Royal High Table, of these discussions that we've had, there's been a number of, of moments. All right. Right, just off the rip, I can tell you guys about, you know, about when I graduated high school and 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 basically how at the graduation one, I was senior class president and then I was number three, you know, in the academic ra rankings. And then not only that, I was in charge, you know, like I was I was the I was the leader of many clubs and organizations. And so it, it was it was it, it, one. It made sense that I got up there on stage and I was one of the people to to deliver the speech or to deliver a speech, you know? So that would be a defining moment. Another defining moment would be would be the first time that I was in pageant, all right? You know that that's another defining moment. An uh, shoot, even even another defining moment would be uh in relation to graduation would be when I went and spoke at uh it was uh, the baccalaureate back yeah the baccalaureate night which was prior to uh it was either a day or two or three just before graduation 
all right? But the one, the, the defining moments that I'm going to talk about and I'm going to shed light on, all right, is just what happened these past two weeks as I've already mentioned, all right? And before I even go ahead and get into the finer details, I do want to say one big shout out to the Caribbean Students Association and big shout outs to the Hispanic Latinx Student Union here at Florida State University as always. And for that matter, I'll shout out all the Caribbean Students Associations here within Florida and all the Hispanic Latinx Student Unions or anything similar to, you know, just throughout the entirety of Florida. Um, but no, no, no. But there was a, a, a sentence that I was about to say just before I, <laughs> I, I threw myself on a tangent, and it was, man, after, after, well, I'm not even gonna say after this semester. At as of now, currently, that I'm that we're talking and we're conversing with each other. Listen, you, you, listen. One Big Daddy Drip is a king now, and then not only that, Big Daddy Drip is is a uh, one. Shoot, he's got some performing experience under under the belt and then not only that too man i'm a, I'm a shoot i might be a i'm not might be i'm definitely man i'm i am a certified pageant stepper at this point i don't know how many well let me say this i don't know how many people on campus can say that they have participated in three fsu pageants or just three pageants in general so your boy yeah I, yeah it, I, i've been getting real busy uh but to actually i guess focus more or, or get back to these two events uh the hlsu pageant 2022 i'll speak on that because y'all that now I, i'll get to that because that that was the one uh, although i had great performances in both you know a lot of people still you know they, they come up to me uh, listen they they come up to me and they quote they always quote uh something that i said or or you know i don't know whatever it is that i said or, perf or performed they they come up and and they quote it to me and they recite it back to me or whatever whenever they see me so that's much love you know from the people who showed up that night and on, on actually on both nights but I'll speak about this one. Unfortunately, this was not the one that I won. Uh, but nonetheless, again, the, the entire process was, was, was awesome. But I'll speak about that particular night. Really, the main, the, the main points for me, you know, I guess what I was really looking forward to was the talent portion. The talent portion and the evening wear. All right. And, and that really, like, although the entire night itself um, was, I guess, it, it, it was a defining moment because, like, it just, I'll, I'll say this, just this, this entire semester has been, is, is, could be constituted as that because I, I don't know, one, I, I'm not too keen on how pageants in general go. All right. But I, I'm unaware. Of, of people that be that that participate in pageants um especially pageants back to back you know within i'm saying going on with at during the same time so preparing for two pageants at the same time and then actually performing in both within the same week and matter of fact let me see Ooh. performing in two pageants within the span of three days like yeah that in itself i i, I listen you know, I thought of this question and or like when I looked at this question, this I, I couldn't like I couldn't like I couldn't not speak upon or if that makes sense. I, I, there's so many things that I could talk about. But if if I did go about and, and formulate an answer or formulate a response and not talk about this, then it's like, man, I don't know. That'd be somewhat of a disservice because that's an awesome feat within itself, man. All right. Let alone whether or not one, you know, let a, don't even take into account what one does up there on the stage or, you know, what they, what they come out and they present with and how well they do and all that other sort of jazz that within itself is pretty awesome. Um, and like I, to, to speak a little bit more on, the HLSU pageant that that was a, a defining moment for me because you know it one it showed how much one how, it, to me I remember I said this um as I was answering a question within my evening wear portion it's like 
throughout this entire semester, I learned how far I was willing to, to go. I learned, you know, how much I could take, how, how far, you know, just just with, with many things. Because there were a number of different challenges. Uh, there were a number of, of sacrifices that needed to be made. Um, and and there, there are a number of times where I'm not going to, well, listen, one, I never wanted or felt like quitting. But I've seen, you know, just just experiencing going through this whole thing. I, I've seen points in times where people have gotten have, have, you know, got shook up, got, you know, have were, were extremely nervous. There's been times where I've been nervous. You know, there's also been times where, you know, I've been nervous and I ha- held it really, really well. Um, there, there's there's a lot of times behind the scenes where shoot I, hey listen my girlfriend will be able to tell you I was really uh, I, I didn't even know that I was stressing but you know she was like yeah, yeah I'm not gonna lie babe you you definitely were stressing about both of those pageants it took a toll on you because like yo you were <laughs> it's like every time you came over although you you were like there chilling or whatever you did take some time to to you know. I guess try to change something, switch something up when it comes to the pageant, plan something when it comes to both of those pageants. Um, but like I said, man, it, it I, I I really learned again uh, how much I could take. How like I, I wouldn't, I I didn't have. A, how do I want to say this? There wasn't like a. And and if I did get to this point, I I'd be upset with myself. Like whenever I talk, I I'm talking about like you know I guess I keep mentioning all of how far I'm willing to go and how much I'm willing to take and you know just I guess how how much like hard work, how much stuff I'm willing to do behind the scenes, how much I'm willing to do when the lights are on, when people aren't there, when people aren't paying attention, just how, like, just basically what, what are you going to do? You know, like if if you really want to win or you really want to go out and put on, you know, a great performance and make, you know, either of these pageants, the best pageants that, that have ever been seen, witnessed, put on or whatever, how far are you willing to go to actually do that? Like that, that's really the, the question that I keep asking myself. And that, and 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 I, throughout the process, I learned that I, I was willing to go a very like hell. I was willing to go miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. And and not only that, like although I, I mean I'll say this like although it, I mean of course it, it's tough. If if I didn't say it was tough, I would not be doing you know I would not be doing. I guess this the elaboration on this whole process of this whole experience, I wouldn't be doing it justice if I didn't admit that it was tough. But I don't think it, at no point did I ever not want, did I ever regret my decision? At no point did I ever not want to do it. I, I was too, I was too invested into it. I was too, too, you know, caught in. You could call you could say head over heels for the whole thing, but, but I, I was really in love, you know, and, 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 like I was really all in for both pageants, uh, but for the HLSU pageant, like the the like one of those highlights. Although, like I, I'll say this, because we for the, the HLSU pageant, there were like there there weren't as many sections as it was for the CSA pageant, but for the HLSU pageant, it was like it was the theme slash intro. Um, round in which we 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 had did we did a little dance we did a little dance uh, it wasn't anything too much um, we had a cultural round we had a talent then we had questions and answers and then we found out who won so so o- only five sections only five sections it's not nothing too much uh, but you know I I say that that's one of those defining moments you know for me because like the matter of fact. You know what? No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to keep this on. I'm going to keep this on for now. But, y'all, I'm going to change my crown, you know, when I talk about the other pageant. But, um, but no, that, that entire thing, at least for me, you know, when I try to think back to it, like, it, it was a, I, I feel like it was highlights everywhere. Because, one, the dance, like, I literally learned the dance. Just, bec- one, I didn't have time to, to, like, I guess, when, okay. I'll say this for most like my pageants and my pageant brothers and sisters for the HLSU pageant. I think they learned it that Monday. 
and and we were performing the friday like this is the week of and they they learned it that monday or tuesday or whatever and i didn't learn it till that thursday so literally the day before and and <laughs> you know and, and and pause that's not the that's not to say anything about them or whatever I, that like I, i'll say like that to me going back to the experience that's something that i factor into it because i was like i was like well dang like i know that they already know the dance or whatever i was too caught up in you know a whole nother pageant right there that i I wasn't really able to to get down you know i, I wasn't really able to to i guess like I, I was just able to to take it in the day before i didn't have a whole lot of time really to to think it over sleep it over to really i guess you know analyze all the the finer details of it um and and but nonetheless even though i didn't have a whole lot of time to sleep on it i got all the movements right <laughs> on the day of i remembered it all so again that that's factored into the defining moment i didn't fuck up there at no point did i fold in either of the pageants you know so and that's another thing also another defining moment because even though that is to i don't i don't know how anybody else would have fared out uh but like i i i'm not gonna lie i wanted to do this as well because i was looking for i don't know I, I wanted to do something that seemed like impossible that that's that's what i was going for like i wanted to do something that that was like extremely hard or you know something with with a great degree of difficulty and and i did that um but you know that that was that for the dance oh yeah and then not only that y'all i threw hella money i threw i threw listen i threw a whole bunch of money in both pageants but yeah i i was making it rain (laughs) in the dancing section uh and then you know for the cultural wear um that like i came out as a dominican baseball player i came out to taki taki i i I fucked that i I said i fuck with that song I, i love it i love the song um and not only that, shoot, I, I even had, I even did a little giveaway, you know, like I, I gave baseballs out to people, I gave the gloves out to people, I gave, I even gave a bat away. Um, now, granted, some of the stuff I ended up getting back because I guess if some people didn't want it, but some people, some people did take the gifts that I gave them. So you know, <laughs> that 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 was pretty cool. Um, and I'm trying to think, what else? What else? Hold up, let me pull this up. But uh, let's see, what else? Of course, then we have the talent portion, uh, right? And I'll say, I'll say this, right? I'll say this. Um, I don't know when, but on, for Musical Mondays, what I will do, like, I'm going to, like, of course, record the songs that I create. Oh, that's another thing, right? I, I got to talk about the entire process. I, I don't know if I've ever gotten on camera and said this, but I created a total of six songs for both pageants, all right? There is, like, there's the songs that I created. Oh, oh hold on. My fault. Let me make sure I didn't mess up anything, all right, on the dex- the desktop. But back to what i'm talking about there is the song that like i performed you know on the day of for csa and for hlsu there was another song that i had made early on after i had after we started practicing and preparing for those pageants and then there is a a a whole there is a whole nother song you know for for both pageants that nobody has heard yet uh that that i made in in i guess in anticipation and preparation for the process as well so i made six songs but you know i got up and and y'all listen i i (laughs) i was rapping of course man yo these 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 pageants turned me turned me into a performer they well i no 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 i think i was already a performer but in in trying to do my thing for the pageants i ended up becoming a rapper and slash poet so but I got up there. The song that I that I I had delivered for uh, HLSU, it, it was called "Vamo Come With Me." You know, it, it it was a little it was a little bop. You know, "Vamo Come With Me." Hey, hey, hop in the ride. Vamo Come With Me. Hey, hey, let's catch a vibe. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm y'all are gonna get that song like soon. For musical Mondays, both that one and the one for for uh, what's it called for CSA and y'all. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Like I, I gotta hurry. Up. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm only gonna have time for like one 
What? Yeah, I think I'm only going to have time for for one short topic or one warm topic question and then one hot topic. All right. But I, let me keep going. Let me keep going. Um, but yes, it, it, not only that, it, from from what I could gather, like, you know, the, the people, they, they really rock with it, you know, and, and not only that, I put on, I still put on one heck of a show. I, I was all out in the audience too, walking around, you know, so, like I'm, I'm, I'm right in front of people's faces. I'm, I'm, I'm interacting with the judges too and everything. So, you know, it was, it was pretty dope. Um, and, and then for the evening where y'all, I was so drippy. Listen, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to like the footage. It's already out on my IG, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to like one repost all all the pageant like content that I do have on like my other social media and on YouTube as well. All right, but yo, it was it was different. Things things got different. Bro, listen, I was wavy. I was drippy. Like bro, like I don't even. Oh, you see? Okay, 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 okay. It, it, it may not be able to catch, like, for this particular camera, it may not be able to catch it. But for this camera over here, y'all definitely see some of those pageant pieces. You know, I got a red suit. I got a wine-flavored suit. You see some of the fur coats. Oh, actually, you can't see the fur coats. But, you know, yeah, your boy your boy really went out for this one. Um, I, I don't even, I can't even say who I look like because I don't even, I don't even know which rapper or whatever I want to look like. I, I, I'll say, I just, I feel like I looked very original, but it was, it was clean. It was crisp, you know, and, and, but nonetheless, it, it embodied everything, you know, that, that, that big daddy drip is, you know, that, that, that I'm going for, uh. But and then not only that the the questions that I listen your boy I was I was smooth saucy uh, flashy also but smooth uh, just just suave confident comfortable on stage so you know and, and overall listen everybody loved me man everybody loved it everybody loved it um, but that is for the H L shoe pageant again the main highlights I would say being the talent portion. And the evening wear portion. All right, and of course, you know, again, you know, all all the 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 flashy components, the 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 what I call superstar ability, you know, the the comfortability and all that, all the adjectives that I just talked about, it, it was conveyed, you know, throughout, you know, just basically throughout the entirety of the show, but especially during the talent portion and especially during the questions and answers. But I'm going to say this: as much as I'm talking about HLA shoe. CSA's pageant that was like okay how do I want to say this like I feel like I put on a movie mm, yeah I feel like I put on a movie for HLSU but like for CSA this was some this was blockbuster this this was this was a blockbuster type of thing and you know what also again even though I'm talking about me one much love and much support to again all of my pageant brothers and sisters you know I'm, I'm gonna go all the way down the list you know much love and support to 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 johnny much love and support to desiree much love and support to isma and which by the way desiree and isma those are the new hlsu royalty so big shout outs to them much love to to alejandro much love to um to christine much love to carissa much love to kaylin and by, by the way that's your new mrs c say you know so much love to her much love to to tova much love to raven much love to francisco much love to elijah as well man you know again i got nothing but love and support for those guys um but yo i don't even i don't even know where to where to begin y'all i bro I, like i wish i wish somebody had recorded the entire thing I wish somebody had recorded the entire thing. Um, like it, it was posted on IG, but y'all, I it, things got okay. I the the first time that I was in a pageant was for CSA, so in even that time I was great. But this time I feel like I took it up a whole nother level, man. You know the introduction. Well, okay, okay. Let me start off with the sections. Right, well, hold up. Just before I do that, okay. This camera just might cut off on me. Hold up, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here, but I'm going to restart it in you. I'm going to basically restart the camera. Hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Okay. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. The camera, now we got, we got YouTube land there back with me. All right. All right, but back to what I was talking about. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. But as far as like the CSA pageant, uh, dang, I, I'm trying to think because now I lost my place. I was talking, oh yeah, the, the sections, right? So although HLSU, HLSU's was only five sections. The CSA's pageant, I don't, listen, I don't know about all the other pageants, but I feel like CSA really, they, 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 <laughs> we got the most, we do the most. Um, we have a dance, we got a skit, we have an intro, we have beach wear, we have cultural wear, we have talent, then we have evening wear, then we have questions and answers, then we have superlatives, then we find out who actually won. And, and not only that, it, well, yeah, we find out who won slash who, you know, like basically who won the actual crown and people's choice. Um, but, yo, I am going to, you, okay, okay. <clears throat> Y'all are y'all y'all are just gonna have to pay attention to the footage because like the 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 energy was all the way there it, you know and 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 I'll say again I I loved um you know performing over at HLSU that again that that's that's one of those great moments uh but yo I'm telling you for this CSA pageant like this this was this was it it was so much greater than the first time that I performed that that's that's. That's what I'll say. It was so much greater. There were so many people that that pulled up and showed up. I'm and I'm talking to everybody. Everybody for you got CSA people, you know, pulling up. You, what you got FSU CSA people. You got FAMU CSA people. You have HCC. You know, big shout outs to HCC. Big shout outs to FAMU CSA. You got BSU. You have the fraternities. You got the sororities. Literally everybody pulled up. You know, and, and, and so many people pulled up that like when they congratulated me, I I, I, looked at, I was like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was like, oh, and, and they're telling me about, oh, yeah. And, you know, I loved it when you did this. And I was like, oh, damn, you were there. I was like, <laughs> and I was like, you were there. And, and sometimes they would tell me they were there or that they were tuning in from IG, um, IG live. But I was like, yo, this is this is crazy. But. But for the intro, for the introduction, that that's that's one of those highlights. The, the theme um, for CSA's pad. Oh, well, the theme for the HLSU pageant was like the greatest showman on earth. The theme for the CSA's pageant was um, was black royalty, uh, and and we everybody everybody was musicians. All right, you know, of course, and and, and of course, in typical fashion, guess what? You know, somebody was Nicki Minaj, somebody was Cardi B, somebody was Drake, somebody was Lil Wayne, and I was Meek Mill. All right, I was Meek Mill. Meek Mill, Meek Mill, he's my favorite like mainstream artist. Uh, and it's been that way for a little while. It's been that way for a little while, but. Your boy got up there on stage, man. I came up to to monster, bro. Listen, the money turned me to a monster. Ha! The money turned my tune in a lobster. Ha! <laughs> yo, yo, listen. I came out. I was slapping the ground, pow. Slapping the ground, pow. Yo, I was, I was crawling. I, I ran up. I was crawling on the floor and everything. You know, I hit him with the nay nay. It was, it, and that, that's, that's all in the dance and the, that, that's just in the, the build up. That's not even before I started talking. And again, much love to, to. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this again. Much love to my pageant brothers and sisters. But in my introduction, I was firing so. Listen, I was firing so many shots. Hold up, I got, I got the, I got the. The 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 gat I got the blicky right here. Blah blah blah. Firing so many shots at at Wayne. Firing. I was I was shooting so many shots at Drake. I, I was shooting so many shots. Hell, I sh I took a couple shots at Nikki. <laughs> like, bro, it was. I was, bro. Listen, I was I was I was too turned. I was geeked for it. But at the same time, I'll say this: I was really in search and in need of what I call a championship. You know, in 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 a crown, and man, I, I really wanted to lay it all out. You know, if if nothing, not, not even taking into account whether or not I win or lose, I really wanted to lay it all out. You know, I wanted to to do my best, put it all out there on the line. And again, like I said, the main goal was to make sure that these two pageants were the best. You know, the the best pageants. One, I'll say this: the greatest pageants of all time. 
Forget FSU history, you know, forget like forget organization history, forget FSU history, just the greatest of all time that has ever been, you know, witnessed. That's what I was going for. So I so, yeah, uh, like, I OK, y'all, I'm not going to go over the entire thing. I don't know. Maybe unless you guys request it. But um, oh, oh, wow. OK, hold up. Hold up. OK. OK, OK, OK. I'm going to I'm going to give you guys this gem. Or this this piece right here, and then after that, I'm going to cut the audio just because I can't have it being too long. Otherwise, you know, I, I won't even be able to upload it onto you know Spotify and upload it onto all the other podcasting sources. But like one of the the gems, like one of the the lines that I hit somebody with, I said something like, and 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 this is crazy. I I, I told somebody something like, oh no 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 it it. it I, Yo, okay, okay, okay. This is this is what I said to Weezy. I'll talk about my competition, right? I, I said something like, um, "Damn, what what did I tell him?" I'm I'm y'all. I'm drawing a blank right now. I I said something like, you know, I said, "Yo, keep my name out your filthy, disgusting Weasley measly mouth." And then I said something along the lines of like, you know, I said, you say you young money and you cash money. Shut up. <laughs> I done, I done knock this over. Shut up. I'm big money and you look funny. And then I, at some point I was like, matter of fact, brr, brr, I got a phone call. I put money right up to my ear and I was like, listen, man. Yo, listen, I got a couple racks on me right now, but I give you a couple hundred bucks. Go get some Tic Tacs, shampoo, conditioner. I'm throwing money on the floor. And then and then I was like, man, and matter of fact, go get some a little extra. Tell Regine it's on Uncle Meek. I said something like that. And then, I, bro, listen, y'all, I started throwing out gum. I started throwing out lifesavers. I was like, yo, listen, don't come nowhere near me if your breath is still smelling like booty butt cheeks or your hair is still looking like a mangled up mop. And yo, the crowd was loving it. And but here's the thing, I'll say this: it was much better for um, Wheezy, or you know, basically the person who played Wheezy was Francisco. It was much better for him that like we basically did our intros by ourselves. We were the only ones on stage. It was better for him because if he was out there, I think I think it, it would have made. I don't know, like if it de- it depends on how he would have reacted, but like it because. I don't know if 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 he if he didn't react well enough like I guess or I guess in response to it then yeah it could have really it, yo it, it could have oh, really I don't yeah it, it, it that it could have got even more different than it already did but I ended up telling Drake something like I was like, you gonna turn, you, you talking about you gonna turn dreams into nightmares. Last time I checked, I was the one charged up, giving back to back shots, raw to the woman of your dreams. And yo, that, I'm telling y'all, that, that's, that's not even the craziest punch that I threw in the intro. But it, yeah, that's, that's not even the craziest one. But, yeah that that was that that was lit that was super duper lit all right but matter of fact okay okay that's i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna cut the audio right here but i'm gonna start up on another one all right i'm gonna finish talking about um finish talking about the pageant and then i'm gonna jump straight into the hot topic i'm gonna jump straight into the hot topic all right but hey man thank y'all so much for my my people on spotify my people on anchor my people just you know listening to the podcast thank y'all so much for tuning in my people on youtube thank y'all so much for your patience as well but hold up y'all matter of fact let me let me play some music in the meantime though like i I, that that's the least i can do like yo that's really the least i can do let me go ahead Coming with the little rap, getting my money is coming right back. Yeah, I just cut me a couple new packs. If I